Well, hello there, brothers and sisters. And I have a special guest. I have my brother Adam back again. Where is the cheering and the... Oh, there we go. Round of applause. Round of applause. <laughs> hey, brother Adam. Oh, good to be here again. Uh-oh, are they after you? Did I just hear sirens going through? All day out here on the mean road. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Well, we have an idea today, folks, that because this guy right <clears throat> over that way is um is a is a is a real student of history. So we thought it might be fun to talk about something. And in our last talk, right, we we did sort of talk about different things that we just didn't have time to go to go into. And uh, one of the things is like how you know history teachers weren't always that exciting because they just make you memorize a bunch of dates and names, right? And just a list of that mm -hmm. and you pass the test and you're not really learning. How does it come, how does it affect your present day life? Like, let's say if we said um, back in 1775, which everyone likes to say 1776, well, well there's a difference there, right? Be um, but what was going on back then has has a lot of commonalities with what's happening now. You know, I, I sort of cheated a little bit because I couldn't remember the exact date, but on April 19th, 1775, was when the British were marching in through Massachusetts, right? Up to Concord, Lexington, and they wanted to, what were they doing? They were, they were up to no good. Well, from their eyes, they were probably, but... Um, they're That's going there to seize some arms. That's right. <laughs> so uh, that didn't turn out so great for them, did it? No. Oh. 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 Um, now, I, I before we get, if you want to get into any of the details of that day, they call that the shot that was heard around the world, don't they? Um, yeah, well... It is pretty interesting. Uh, most people don't know about all that. You, everybody knows Paul Revere, but uh, I'm trying to remember the, the exact story, but he got arrested somewhere not far from Boston. They started out from Boston. I don't believe Paul Revere made it very far. He made it across to Charleston and told them Bunker Hill area and uh, he got arrested. And then the other guy, Dawes was his name. He lost his horse. Mm. <laughs> Those were the two that set off, but then they met with a guy named Prescott that I believe the story was he, he was leaving his girlfriend's house for the night. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and ran into them and they told him, you know, what we're doing, where British are coming and we're going. And, and, and he went ahead and the, the Dawes guy lost his horse and the Prescott guy that just like randomly got involved in it is that the one that went up to Concord and wow. gave uh, Sam Adams and those guys, uh, Hancock was up there, uh, a heads up. And they were, uh, got to hiding all the ammunitions from the uh, um, uh, Minutemen uh, had that the uh, the Redcoats were after. That's that's why they were marching up there. They were going to take the arms. Right. You can't so fight back. So literally, when we say, yeah, yeah, can't fight back if you have nothing to fight with. <laughs> so they were going to go take the arms. And uh, that was the final straw. He said, like we say now over – out of my cold, dead hands. And they said, nope, we're not giving them up. Come and take them. So the British said, fine, we will. All right. <laughs> the largest army in the world went on a marching. And it's a ragtag bunch of farmers, mostly. <laughs> it, yeah, that, that were, that were, the world thought didn't stand a chance. I mean, in Europe, they were like, yeah. this will take about two weeks. Topped, <laughs> and they'll be spanked and then they'll be sorry and they'll do well listen 
this is what I, this is my theory about every major war that I've ever studied. Um, and, it, and, it, and this is how it ties into right now too, because, um, and see, I don't know if, you know, I, I've monkeyed around with these numbers. I've heard ideas like this before, but I think um, from what I've read, and I've read quite a bit because I've studied George Washington, Ben Franklin, and um, the Adams brother, the Adams uh, cousins, right? Samuel and, and John. And but, but um, there was about a third of the people that wanted to stay part of England. There was about a third of the people yeah. that ended up being the Patriots and understanding that that um, cause. And yeah. then there was a third that just didn't care at all and just wanted to be left alone. The, you might say they yeah, like yeah. the status quo but they, they weren't going to get involved, right? Does yeah. that sound familiar to what we're running into now? <laughs> it's exactly because the same. When they, these days, when they say, a th uh, they'll talk about like a presidential election. Yeah. And they'll say 60% um, of the people showed up or 65, 70 is about as good as anything ever gets. <laughs> until 2020 um that yeah. that mm -hmm. anyone's ever shown up about 70 for really good strong candidates um 70 percent well what people don't think about and this really makes a big difference and and then you lose your mind because of numbers and stuff and just trying to think about it but if you really looked at it 70 percent of registered voters showed wow. up is a great amazing rarity in elections. In the midterms right, right. stuff, it's nothing even close to that. 70% of the registered voters, it's right. only 60% of the people that, that register to vote. So it's 70% of 60%. Right. So it's not a lot of people. So there's, there's about a third of the people. That's 100 million people that don't vote normally. Right? <laughs> That's what threw off. Or legally. Or le oh, well. <laughs> I didn't take that number in to consideration. But so this was, ha this happened in, this happened in the revolution and it's happening now. See, yeah. that's the kind of thing like, and, and there's another thing, and, and I need to be a little careful about how I say that, but we have three letter agencies and they do full flag bang bang events yeah i had to, I had to work on this a little bit today because <laughs> you can't because right now in the united states of america you're not allowed to say what they don't want you to say or right. you'll be shut down now of course we have free markets and we have other options and uh you know even though there's a lot more people on youtube a lot of people are going to rumble bit shoot and there's other ones, huge too. By my, I have I have videos on there. Just in case I go bye bye after this one, <laughs> <laughs> you folks can find me on on those ones. And it's hiking druid over there as well. So, but yeah, my, but so the the um, these three letter agencies that do these big every single mass bang bang event. Las Vegas, the schools, everything is, how can I say it? Commies in America um, or the, uh, the uh, fake bears investigating. They kind of work, you know, the fake beer bears oh, are, yeah. are the cleanup operation for the commies in America, or the clowns in America. I've heard them call it. Anyway. I like the clowns in, clowns in action. Clowns in action, <laughs> there, okay, I like that, yeah. So they, they've, they've organized all this stuff to try to seize our arms. So how are they any different than the British? How, how is this different? Well, we haven't gone violent, right? We haven't gone violent yet, not on the Patriot side. No, um, 
The only thing that got close to that, which has been blown out of proportion by the ones who lie about this in the mainstream media, is, is I don't even know if you can say Jan 6, so I'm not, I probably won't say that. Um, mm. <laughs> it's ridiculous, guys. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you can't even. This is what they want. You to get to a point where you can't even hold a conversation anymore. <laughs> I read 1984, you know, and yeah. they redefined what every word meant. Right. And so, the only thing in our favor is that they have, they have a, like artificial intelligence programs that pick up on certain words, and so we can. Yeah. They'll never be as smart as humans' creativity. And they have no sense of humor. <laughs> I figured that out too. Yeah, I actually yeah. got, I got pinged on Facebook for making a joke. I'm like, wow, it's not humans then because they can't, they can't understand the joke. It was just a key word that they, that they don't yeah. like. But I was actually making fun I of that can't. key word. We're going off on, uh, 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 we'll, we'll do the first swerve here. Because the last 24 hours, um, similarly as a thing that set off um, the uh, American fight for independence in the late 1700s um, <laughs> for going after the weapons, another thing that I recently had a conversation about that could set it off was trying to forcibly um, stab everybody with a pointy thing full of liquid. <laughs> yeah. And the last couple of days has just been totally crazy, which is what I've been getting angry about. And I'm not getting angry at, as much at the, the Biden administration and all of that, because I expect this out of those, I see them as fascists, because that's what they really are, because all tied in with all of the, with the big tech and with all of the world banks and the, uh, and the giant corporations, which is exactly what fascism is. That that's what it was in Italy and Germany. And using the total power to just stifle the people from every direction. And that's exactly what they're doing. But the la the, what I've been mad at is the people reacting to them even suggesting that this should happen when I don't believe their numbers to start with. I still think that at least half the population easily has not even thought about taking this thing that That's they're trying right. to force on us. You're right. They're trying to say, Oh, 70%. And I don't believe it no. at all. It's not. Yes. No way. No. And First of all, there's a lot of people that aren't in that system to be counted myself included, how would they know if I did or not? Because I'm not in that system. I'm not in that medical system, that big pharma, big medicine system. Yeah. They, I don't have a doctor, you see? <laughs> There's nobody to report me. Right, that's, yeah, that's even more, they're, they're, I don't they, know, they're counting then, them. They're, no. There's lots of us that aren't involved in that. Homeopaths and herbalists, yeah. we, we heal ourselves. We don't need that. And even if and if you go like they're giving these things out at Rite Aid and Walgreens and wherever, like even how, ice cream. How do they know who's getting even getting what? Because they're you're not being it's not being technically reported that you got it and your name back to the government, supposedly. Or are they like illegally behind the scenes doing that? Well, they might have just counted me by saying that on this once it goes on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> right, <laughs> but that, that's what's been making me angry are these people are like yeah well keeping us safe and uh you know, blah 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 yes yeah, safety is what how they got took how they took over germany back in world war ii exactly that's and that's it's always I safety mean. yeah it, today is like people uh, the, the the phrase i always remember hearing is you know, even going back to school or even on, on programs, like how could this, you know, how, how could this ever have happened? How, I know. How could they let, let, let Hitler, you know, talk them into rounding all these people up and I then couldn't believe it. killing them. And like he said today, you know how that happened? This is exactly how that happened. Right we now, know. you bunch of idiots that are out there saying, 
oh, yeah, well, if they don't cooperate and then for the greater good and blah, 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 yeah, round them up and stick them in these things. And then what happens once we're in these big camps, then yeah. they can do whatever they want with us at that point, which is what happened in Germany. And then at the end, they said, oh, well, we thought they were just going there for, for safety because people were trying to hurt the people whose religion name starts with a J. Yeah. So, they were trying to hurt those people with Jay, so they took them on the trains. It was nice of us. We were we were saving them from being hurt by the mean people that wanted to hurt them. They were, and then they all died. Ten million of them. They were yeah. They were going to keep them safe until they could get them over to Israel safely. That 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 was in a lot of the uh, newspapers and stuff of the time yeah. in Germany and in, of course in our country. Oh we yeah, there's tons right of them. Um, now. Um, Oh, I just had a great thought, but it's gone now. Mm. <laughs> I interrupted you and then I lost what I was going to say anyway. Oh, the, um, yeah. Oh, the, uh, in, in bringing it to now, they've even made a beautiful name for it. The green zone. The yeah. FIFA green zones. Yeah. Everyone that, that has our choice safe and that has their evil decision of the, to be free-minded scientific isn't that amazing for a year and a half they said trust the science trust the science as they were lying to us about the science and we say okay the science says impossible impossible that you've ha called a, a a variation on something that they've never isolated in the first place right uh Okay, and when they when the flu does that, let's just let's just say with the flu, right, has many different uh, strains every year. Well, they don't give you four different inoculations to keep you keep the four different strains of the flu. They just go with the predominant one, and that's the one that they try to push the uh, so-called remedy for. Which still, if you are healthy, you really needn't worry about getting a flu. Um, our immune systems are 98%, unless you already are sick with something else, we're 98% able to fight this one that everyone's so afraid of until they get you know, the, the clot shot. Then they get, um, I'm testing the waters, Adam, is it cracking? Do I hear a crack? <laughs> <laughs> Look for me on Rumble, folks. Nice to know ya. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Look, wouldn't you, rather, wouldn't you rather die speaking freely yeah. than live forever as a slave? Yep. I, didn't, I didn't just make that up. I mean, I think... <laughs> Thomas I think, Jefferson. Uh, I think that. some great people have said yeah. very similar things. <laughs> yeah, they did. And there was that wonderful guy that wasn't Jewish in Germany, you know, that that said, I, I watched them rounding up the Jews, and I didn't say anything because I wasn't Jewish. And I watched them rounding up the gypsies but you know, it didn't really concern me. I'm not a gypsy. Um, yeah. And then they were rounding up the elites, which makes me scratch my head with who's supporting this same thing now. They don't <laughs> learn from history. They don't. Yeah. They don't know it. And they think they're gonna be riding high. They will be Definitely. the first one shipped out as soon as their useful idiot of, of brainwashing our kids. In the end, there's no one left to save me. That's what it gets. To. Right, right. Yeah, I sidetracked myself. Yeah, <laughs> so we need to protect each other is the general point there. Now, well, there's still a lot of us. The majority, welfare. It's the majority of us. Truth be known, 80% of the people are starting to wake up, even if they're not completely aware of what's, what's happened. None of us is completely aware of what's happened it's all different layers. It's different levels of, of oh, yeah. understanding. It's like an because onion. You know, <laughs> in, in the next few weeks, in the next few months, even those of us who are, uh-oh, 
the, the, that thought that we were so, you know, smart and, and aware because we've been maybe looking into this for a year or two or 10, we're going to get our heads, heads friggin' popped too. Because even if a 10th of what I've been looking into turns out to be right, oh, people are going to be shitting their pants. Oh, yeah. At least figuratively and some literally. That's why they've rolled out a lot of this stuff, slow drip, drip, drip. Because it really is so major that people would either be ripping people apart when they found out who's responsible for some of these heinous crimes that have been committed. And I'm just going to say it against our children, because we know there's something wrong going on with our children when they keep finding 200 here and 300 there and 600 in Germany. Oh, but that's not in the news. That didn't happen. Yeah. Um, regular news thousands missing every year in, in our regular country. newspapers. They're local, like down in Texas, when they find the 80 mothers and kids that were being sold around, um, they report on it locally. But it, and then it, what? It never gets into the national media. So, well, um, yeah. we have wow. so much. You know, we can talk about this for hours. Uh, but we don't we don't have that much time right now. But some of the stuff we talked about that would be interesting to talk about in the future. Um, in the in our first video, uh, this is actually video number two of the Boynton Boys shooting the breeze. I decided to clean it up, Adam. Yeah, there was, yeah. There's other ideas for the title. But, uh, so we this, can have a. Uh... So in the uh, original fight for freedom, uh, independence, then they went to uh, take the guns, and that was a final straw. Right. And uh, looks like now they're trying to do this other thing. I, I hope they don't. And we still have the guns, so there's two things they got to go. <laughs> they got to go for. Right. Um, so if you know. It, history repeats itself but in in all these times in all these countries so i have a little uh one uh quote that i wanted to bring up but in in, in a lot of these countries uh, pol pot and uh, and china with mao it, it was all you know what what's best for the the general welfare you know the bolsheviks general welfare they always say a similar term they something different mm -hmm. each time some catchy phrase but it's always about the general welfare so and the people um, take care of the people i like to go the with common man right right, right. Sorry. and uh they people like to think with our uh our founders uh were antiquated and didn't think of these things well they did and they <laughs> they, they uh discussed it and in uh um I, be, I believe it was in the um, uh, Federalist Papers, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'll have to look up exactly where it came from, but I believe it was in the Federalist Papers, but James Madison had a quote about the general welfare, um, which was, uh, so I had, to, I had to get it ahead because it's a little bit long. So he said, with the respect to the words general welfare, take them in a literal and unlimited sense would be a metamorphosis of the Constitution into a character which there is a host of proofs was never contemplated by its creators. James Madison. Beautiful. So now everybody, uh, everybody now likes to change what the words meant and uh, general, them. general welfare tied in with pursuit of happiness it ties in it's part of the same concept it's not right. it's not mass welfare for people that don't want to work that's it's not it's not government programs at all that's that they're not in the constitution whatsoever it's general welfare each of us individually right right take uh, take <laughs> we have the right to pursue our happiness and the government needs to make sure they aren't getting in the way to our general welfare welfare meaning 
goodness, good right. healthiness, uh, happiness, generally. Not uh, not not ends justify the means as the communists are always trying to sneak in here. <laughs> no, and and when 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 Abraham Lincoln was president, there was a massive fire, um, in either his like hometown or maybe it was in Washington D.C. And they they started saying, well, we need to get the public money to rebuild, and he, he said, no, have fundraisers. The, the people are, will help, you know, ask them to help, but don't, you can't take it from the, the, um, the budget. You can't use monies from the budget to rebuild people's houses. And now look, I mean, F FEMA should not exist. No. It's not constitutional. Yeah, 90% of help? our government's not. <laughs> no, no, and, and it's gonna go bye-bye. It's gonna go bye-bye. It has to. Yeah. All right, Adam. I got to get going, so I can't, I can't keep going on all that. Well, yeah, I could easily, but <laughs> not going to. I said we'd be good today, so um, yeah. that's great. And see, that's how you tie these things in, and you can learn from the past. So don't tear down all those statues, right? I mean, that drove me crazy seeing that. Even if it's people I didn't necessarily agree with, but let's, you know, we'll get, have okay. discussions. Yeah, talk about what, because <laughs> you know what? People who disagree with you s could still have some goodness in them. Robert E. Lee, yeah, he, f he fought for the Confederacy. He was the best general in the North and the South. They all agreed on this. He was the right. most amazing general in our history. George and they also Washington, said the, the most honest man. He and, was and virtuous. He, <laughs> he was fighting for his home turf. Okay, they wanted to be well. We won't go there. Let's another discussion. Hey, I think I just stumbled. <laughs> we'll go from the uh, the uh, war for independence to the war of the states next time. <laughs> next time in a theater near you. All right. Anything you'd like to throw in there before we say good night? No, no. I think we made our way around there pretty well. Yeah, thanks. We were tiptoeing through the tulips pretty good, I think. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't think the ice quite fell through. Be, being a northern Mainer, I, I'm, I, can, I can test the ice pretty good. And um, so I do look forward to you coming back. I appreciate you coming on here. I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And, and uh, it's easy to get so caught up in it all. But just remember, I gotta say this to everybody, and you, and you are part of everybody. <laughs> God loves you. I love you too. God wins. <laughs> he actually already won a couple thousand years ago, right? But we won't get into all that right now. But, um, you know, every time you start to think like, this is too ridiculous and I'm getting stressed out and I can't take it anymore. That's when you gotta head to a park or go f even for a walk up the street and around the corner and back. Um, yeah. but, you know, always give thanks each day for what good you do okay. have. And remember that, that, that there's always people wishing they could have been born in this country. No matter, no, I, I don't have a lot of money, but compared to people in the rest of the world, ooh, I'm loaded, you know? Just the fact that I, I'm talking on the internet, on a laptop, I got another computer over here. They would go, I, I can't believe this guy doesn't think he's loaded, right? <laughs> we've, yeah. got, we've got grocery stores you walk in and you, you know, the hardest thing is to decide which kind of ketchup you want. You know, there's 40 <laughs> kinds of ketchup. <laughs> Other people are hoping they can get a bag of rice for their family of 10. Where's the organic one? I want the organic ketchup. Where's the manager? I, there's no. <laughs> uh, so you, count, you count your blessings and, and try to help people and try to, you know, I, I was saying this the other day, you, got, you have to help your neighbors, but first you have to know who your neighbors are. 
like, wow, when did we stop knowing who our neighbors are? We know all of ours and they all have a lot of guns. Oh, I like those neighbors. Mine do too, <laughs> folks. Come on, there's two. He's in Pennsylvania, I'm in Maine. If you start trying to uh, cause mischief, maybe you should go like somewhere else. New York City. Else. <laughs> Chicago's a great place. They outlawed guns a long time ago. There's no guns left yeah, there because they outlawed well for... them. How come right. 200, 200 people get shot every weekend? Every weekend. I was like, what? Anyway. I Philly's not a whole lot better here. Same thing. I can guarantee you 200 <laughs> people do not get shot in Maine. Yeah. But anyway. All right, folks, thanks for watching and thanks again, Adam. And I'm going to end this if I it's can remember yeah. how. And hang on, don't go, wait. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't do it right. Hang on a second. Hey, and you don't have to be perfect. Just get out there and try to tell people what you believe in. And that's going to make a big difference in the world.